All right, you guys, it's been a number of days. And since the modifications that I did to this thing last time, uh, the KD box have been starting up perfectly fine. So no more weird startup faults or power faults or anything like that. Please excuse my voice. I've been losing it for the last week. I'm gonna dismantle the 24 volt system and we're gonna go with the 48 volt. So I'm gonna reconfigure this battery to be completely in series for 48 volts. And I'm gonna remove this DC-DC converter and use the 48 volt DC DC converter. All right, guys, I've got the system running at the 48 volts. Uh, I've got the, the battery all in series. So that's four 12 volt, 12 amp hour batteries in series to give us tw uh, 48 volts. I uh, added these little bus bars here because the, the connection gets a little bit more complicated. Uh, because we can't really power the miner off the load port any longer. So I need these bus bars to be able to co connect the batteries, the charge controller, and the DC-DC converter in the same spot. Now I did make a little relay. This is a 48 volt relay and it is triggered off the load port. So when the charge controller turns on the load, it's actually turning on this relay, which pulls this line down low and the DC-DC converter has a little pin right here, which is the enable pin. So if you pull that pin down low, the DC-DC converter comes on. That's uh, common on all these quarter brick DC-DC converters. And what it's doing is just uh, when the relay fires, it, it's connecting the negative all the way through to here. The other consequence of not being able to power uh, the miner off this load port is we no longer get a current measurement in the app because we're not actually pulling any current from the load port. We're just using the load port to trigger the relay. So for us to uh, determine how much power we're drawing now, we're gonna have to rely on this clamp meter. Pull in 4.523 amps. That our voltage is at 51.15. So if we do 4.523 times uh, 51.14, uh, we're, we're pulling uh, 231 watts, which I think is slightly more efficient than the other setup. It's probably due to the 24 volt uh, DC-DC converter being slightly less efficient than this quarter brick one. Um, again, these are very high quality devices. They're kind of built to be very, very, very efficient. I think with the other one we were doing, what was this, like 240 and sometimes 250. So now we're in the 230, so slight, just slightly more efficient. So what I'm mostly interested in now is tomorrow, and hopefully we'll have some sun, because we haven't had much sun in the last three days. So if we have sun tomorrow, we'll get to see how much wattage we're pulling in from the solar panel because we were maxing out at 550 watts on the 24 volt system. Uh, now that we're at 48 volt, we should max out at the limit of the two solar panels I've got hooked up, which I typically see those, uh, depending on how sunny it is, uh, maybe pushing six, 700 watts. So tomorrow we'll get to see if we broke the 550 watt limit. All right, guys, we got some sun shining today. Now, the only problem is I've got this crap that falls out of my tree. And he's ready to take a swim. We'll see what kind of wattage we're pulling now, at the, now that we're at the 48 volts. So let me hose those panels down and I'll be back. Okay, I got those panels cleaned off. And um, one thing that did happen is when I came in here, we did have that problem of the power fault on the miner again. Uh, it seems as though we fixed it on this converter with the cap. So I don't know, maybe I'll need to put a cap on the output of this one too. But I'll mess with that later. For right now, let's see what, see what kind of power we're pulling. Ah, I've got the panel unplugged, I forgot. 
I was trying to drain, drain some of the power out of the batteries. Okay, let's uh, hook the panel up. All right, so plugged it in. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah. That took it a minute. It looks like it finally settled down at 654. Yeah, so we can definitely go over a thousand watts on this. We're at 656 because basically the panels here are not positioned uh, very well to the sun. They're just flat right now. But I did get them nice and cleaned off. If I had them angled this direction, uh, they would be pr producing a whole lot more power. Still climbing a little bit, 656, almost 660. So that's the real benefit of going with higher voltage is that you don't have to have as many uh, amps. You don't have to have as uh, high of, of a current capacity uh, to get more wattage if you have higher voltage. Also, your wiring doesn't have to be as big. You know, you can get away with uh, a much smaller wiring because you're carrying much less amperage. And you also, it's a little bit more efficient because you have a lot less loss. Yeah, with the lower voltages, you have more loss that goes on. But anyways, there it is. I think that's going to be the end of the video. And we're going to get back to doing some battery reviews, some battery teardowns. I've got one coming, I think, today, actually. So hopefully, hopefully this weekend we'll have some other content. And so I'll see you on the next video.